So I went on ChatGPT, typed in and asked if it could do a performance review of this shoe, but it gave me this answer. AI can't do everything. So that's what we're here for. What's up and welcome back to another Wear Testers performance review. My name is Alan and today we're taking a look at the Luka 2 basketball shoes. These are the second signature basketball shoes for Luka Doncic. It may look like a completely different basketball shoe from last year's model, but it still retains some of the key features and I think at the top of the priority list, stability is still the most important part of this shoe. This is a shoe that you'll better appreciate the more you play with it. I didn't like it after the first session. It gave me some toe soreness and that cushion took a bit more time to break in as well. The cushion setup in the Luka 2s feel different compared to last year's. Now, it's not a dramatic improvement, but any improvement is better than no improvement. It's not going to be a plush ride at all. It didn't really feel any different when I first tried it on, but the more that I play with this shoe, the more that cushion softened up and the more that I felt that there was more compression. It sits higher off the ground as well. It's nothing crazy. You're still gonna get a good amount of court feel with the shoes and that was a strength of last year's model as well. In other cushion setups that are thicker and more plush, sometimes the feet tends to sink in a little more when you're you know, pushing off of the ground or making a quick move. But for this one, since it is firm and it is low to the ground, your feet won't sink in as much. And I think a large part of that is because it's designed for Luca and his play style. His game and play style is more about playing at his own pace. He's not about making a super fast or powerful movement. He's also not about doing high flying movements. He's more of a methodical player who will whip out a quick movement to catch his defender off guard when he needs to. So because his play style is like this, he doesn't really need a super fast shoe that is really low in weight. And he also doesn't really need a shoe that will maximize his vertical. What his play style does require is stability. What this shoe does is it sort of doubles down on stability by not only having a wide forefoot base, but it also has a firm cushion. So what you have here is a shoe that is going to feel very stable. The insole that it has for this new version is a dream cell insole and it has more of a gel-like quality compared to the usual ortholite insoles that you got from last year's model. This is worth noting because it does add to that step in comfort for the shoe and you can play with this dream cell insole and once it bottoms out and you want to change it, it's going to you know, not have tiny pieces of its foam stuck to the strobe of the shoe. Another thing I noticed is that the arch of the shoe in this part is slightly more lifted inside. So you know this part is going to be more important for people who have flat feet. Another important feature in the cushion setup that this shoe retains from last year's model is the ISO plate. You can't really see it in this colorway, but if you look at other colorways online, you'll see that the ISO plate is still there. It still zigzags and it still concentrates on the lateral side of the shoe. The idea is still the same. What the ISO plate does is it gives you an extra spring back and you know propulsion whenever you do a side to side movement. Since most torsional plates are right through the middle of the shoe, the propulsion that you get from the spring back effect of the torsional plates is more of a linear way. So you're getting that propelling effect when you're running forward. Since it zigzags and goes to the lateral part, you're also getting extra propulsion for your side to side movements. It may be a gimmick, but that is the idea there. Further complementing that stability aspect of the shoe are the upper materials of the shoe because the materials here are beefier and bulkier compared to last year's model. I would say that lockdown is the biggest strength of the shoe. It's definitely the best part. The first one was more of a thinner and more flexible upper material that was supportive enough. This one, it is a very supportive upper and there's more layers to it and more panels so you will feel more pressure on top of your foot when you're playing with this shoe. It's just as heavy as a LeBron 20 and a KD16 shoe so those shoes are not the heaviest as well but this will feel heavier than those 
just because of the upper in this one. The plastic pieces are here to provide even more lateral support and thankfully they didn't dig into my feet or anything like that. What did dig into my feet is this part right here in the forefoot area. After my first session playing with these shoes, my toes felt really sore. It was mainly because of this part right here. When I would bend my feet in this part, this would really just hit my toes and dig into them. And after uh, that first session, my toes were just really, really sore. Thankfully, that eventually went away. I think all these upper materials up top are just very stiff at first and they're gonna need to soften up. The tongue is very wide and it is symmetrical, nicely padded, almost very similar to last year's. It is wide, but it's also sculpted to have that U-shaped already. That's not gonna leave any sort of space between the tongue and your ankles. It's just gonna hug it very well. What's aiding that tongue is also the cushion around your ankles. I like that the heel cushion here is very thick and that heel counter is really solid. Heel lock down here is excellent in this shoe. It has all these lace locks right here that is matched up with each level of eyelets. You can loosen the fit of the shoe in some of those parts and still have the tongue not moving as much. Usually in other shoes, you'll only have one lace lock at the very top before you tie it at the very end. Almost every time you have to tighten it on every level so that it doesn't move at all. But with this one, since there is a lace lock on every level, those lace locks are still like stabilizing those eyelets so that the tongue won't move as much. There isn't gonna be many parts about the upper where it is breathable. So you're giving up a little bit of breathability in order to get a really, really supportive upper and that's what you get with this shoe. You will know that there is an outrigger, like it prominently flares out on this side right here on the lateral side. Just having that tiny piece of that extra amount of outsole right there is going to flatten that part out so that when you stop, you're not gonna be rolling over. Obviously no shoe will you know, prevent any ankle injuries. The most important part is to strengthen your ankles and your own self. A uh, shoe can only do so much. So far, this shoe is doing everything it can to be a very supportive uh, shoe in terms of the materials. As for traction performance of the Luca 2s, uh, these will perform very well in moderately clean to clean courts, but it mildly suffers in how it handles dust. The outsole is a dust magnet. Personally, I don't mind wiping my shoes a lot because I do that by habit. But if you're someone who doesn't like to do that, then you may have to explore other options. Maybe you have to get the Luca 2 that has a solid outsole or maybe other shoes. But I do think that for most people, this will work well enough. Try to break it in first before hopping into a game. My mistake is that I played with this game right away without shooting around with it. So the court was very dusty at this point and I was the only one that was kind of slipping and other shoes weren't. So I think it just needed time to break in because the next time that I played, I didn't have that much problems. Of course, any shoe is going to suffer in a dusty court, but I would beg to differ. I think some translucent outsoles perform better than other translucent outsoles. For example, I had the All Pro Nitro. That one handled dust pretty well. I also have this shoe right here, which is the Air Jordan 38. I've only played once in this so far, but the translucent outsole in this one works way better than the translucent outsole here. So. Uh, that's another good example. Stay tuned for the review for this. For outdoor play, it will grip very well still, but the durability will not be the greatest. If you're gonna play outdoors, try to go with the solid option with this shoe. This part is slightly uh, separated and it's also slightly raised in this part right here. It's helping you to push off of you know, your side step, your step back, your lateral movements. Usually you're finishing off those type of moves off of your big toe. For sizing, I do believe that people with regular feet will find that going true to size will work the best. It does fit a tad bit longer compared to last year's model, but I don't think it's enough to make you go up half a size up or a full size up. For my personal preference, I usually go up half a size because my right foot is slightly wider than my left foot. And also I just like wearing my shoes with and without braces. I just like to have that option. These shoes will feel uh, tight when you fit them at first because of all those extra layers on top of your feet. But I do promise that they will break in. You just have to play in them to break them in. So if you want immediate comfort, then going up half a size may be helpful. 
as long as you're fine with extra space on the toe box area. That is about it for my performance review of the Luca 2 basketball shoes. If you're gonna take away anything from this video, just know that this shoe's best part is the lockdown. My only complaints about the shoe is that it gave me some toe soreness in the beginning, but again, you're fully gonna appreciate this shoe the more you play with it. It's gonna be hard to judge fully just from trying it on. You have to think about your own preferences and your own play style and see if this shoe is the one that's right for you. As always, wear your shoes, have fun playing basketball out there. My name is Alan and I'll see you again on the next performance review. Peace.